in Japan, that's something that I really noticed when I did learn shiatsu is that they always have a cloth when they're working on somebody. Has anybody had much experience with receiving shiatsu treatments? Okay, when you do, you'll see that there's usually a cloth between the practitioner and the, the client, especially in certain systems of it. That is to create a boundary that you're not absorbing the chi. There's other ways to not absorb chi as well. One of them is being aware of it, first of all. Okay, so instead of just kind of plowing in and, and doing that, you actually become aware of it, you become sensitive to the, the flow of chi and when you when you're releasing it you activate it release it and then you might shake your hands before it absorbs up your arms the other thing is to make sure you breathe properly during the treatment and then making sure that you're washing your hands really thoroughly after a treatment often with it i find certain soaps clean you know, off that energy better than others actually dr broner's soap he's a, he's a bit of a crazy um, soap maker from california that passed away I find his soaps are really and they're all totally 100% natural. You know? Whereas I find sometimes I'm in a hotel or something like that, and the soaps they provide are just, you know, they don't have a clean bad energy. So it's an interesting thing. Um, but the other thing is, is um, it just really comes down to being aware of it, and you get it before it absorbs, and then, you know. You can then have like a shower. You live you live near the beach too. Right? Do you find that like for me, I live in Hawaii near the beach as well. And I find if I've done an intense treatment, I go for a swim after it. Yeah, sure. I find it really cleanses me. Well, that, that makes sense. It's so sensitive. I told when you pinch, had some beach cups on you, you would have a swim in the sea. But but the the thing though is, I think what you're saying really makes sense to me because I think that yeah, I'm not aware of it when I'm doing the massage. Yeah. And when I become aware of it, it's at the end. And it's too late. Exactly. So probably you need if to I try to maintain the awareness <coughs> for the massage, then it wouldn't affect me. That makes exactly. sense. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I would say. <coughs> All right. Any other questions? <coughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we might do then is, um, who'd like to volunteer for? I'll just do some demos. Really, what I want to do in this course is do demos, get you guys working on each other, so you can all experience. A lot of you guys would have seen a lot of, did anybody see any chi move in their courses? <laughs> if, 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 if you didn't, I'm going to sack the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we like to do. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Brett was your teacher? Yeah. Was that the one where, where somebody was speaking in tongues? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw the video. I saw the video, yeah. 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 But I was thinking about her when we were talking. She's a sister of someone who's in the past. She's been massaging people for seven or eight years, did all the courses. The weekend before she came in, someone had had a chi release on her table. She didn't know what to do. She'd never seen it before. Her brother was in the course, had been in the course a week, went out and saw it all out for her. Through that experience, she wanted to come and have a massage. And she when we got emailed the, the video link to what happened in this class, I don't know if you saw it. But she was speaking in tongues and there was so much anger and ugliness coming out of her body. And when I saw it, the first thing was that's six years of other people's energy coming out of her. Because she was a generally happy, normal, balanced girl. But there was some strange stuff coming out. Um, and that could have been everyone else's. Oh, that was a full class. Yeah. A lot of people have compared, especially as you get into the more advanced aspects of this form of massage, like a lot of people that looks like an exorcism. You know? yeah. 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 Oh, she, I walked out to lunch with her, she skipped all the way down the stairs and outside, she goes, oh my god, who am I? Yeah. She's kind of different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. And it might not necessarily have been her stuff coming up. It might have been holding on to other people's massage. People have some weird stuff inside of them, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, like especially if you've had a life, you yourself may have had a life that's all been wonderful, and you know, you've never been sexually abused or never been, you know, whatever, had any sort of thing. But there's a lot of people out there who have not had that, you know, they've been, been abused or been had this problem or that problem. And so, you know, you're working on some people that, that have had a lot of stuff put into them, and, and most of that's going to be stored in their belly. Can we store it all over their body? Absolutely, yeah. 
you know, I don't like to speculate, you know what I mean? Like when I'm working on a person, I'm not going to be like some new age tarot reader or something like that, you know what I mean? Like I tend to think of myself more as old age than new age, you know what I mean? And I don't like to go into, people ask me, oh, what's that about, what's that? I'm not going to go into, I'm a clairvoyant and I can read what you've had in your, with your father in your past life and on Mars and, you know, and you had your sister, <laughs> you know, and then the, when the five aliens came, that's the kind of story that I tell son. But, <laughs> won't tell you those. But anyway, I've seen people get into some kind of weird shit, which I don't think is really appropriate, personally. I, when I work on people, all I do is I go, that's tight, that's, that's probably emotionally related. I let them figure it out if they want to, and, and I don't even get them to talk about it if they don't want. It's not, you know, that's not really my role. It's like, breathe into it and release it. That's really all. If they want to talk about it, I let them because that's going to help them let it go. Okay, but it's, if they stop breathing while they're talking about it, I'd rather encourage them to breathe. And, but sometimes people want to break from it's all, and they need to analyze it with their mind. Oh, I'm having this energy. What's this all about? And then you know, it's like okay. Really, what we want to say is like, okay, just shut up and breathe. You know, <laughs> but you do it politely. You know, <laughs> but you know, but some people want to talk about it, but don't let them get caught up in the mental analysis of their problems and all that, because otherwise you're wasting a lot of your treatment time that you could actually be clearing that out of them, you know? Let them think about it later, it's best. But not everybody's ready for that, and you've got to be work with the person. So of course, if the person does want to talk about it, well, but I would just listen rather than try and tell them anything, you know? I don't like to tell people about themselves unless I really see it. But I don't see it on an emotional, I just see that they've got a tightness and it's probably emotionally related and maybe there's some anger, but I'm not going to go into why they're angry or whatever. It's like, okay, yeah, okay, it's, you seem like, you know, you, you obviously got some anger about something. The best thing is just to breathe into it, let it go, scream if you want, but don't take it out on me, obviously. I didn't cause it, you know. <laughs> just bringing it up and out, you know. Um, but the question that I've had quite often, you know, working on, on people is that, People will come for because they feel they have a particular problem somewhere and then you find out that actually they've got another problem. Yeah. And so you're working on that and then they say, Oh, I never realized I had all this tension here. Why do I have this tension there? And they go like, I don't know. Oh, you just say stress. I use a general word like stress. Stress is a good one. Yeah. I'd say it's just stress, emotional things, you know. Keep it really vague. I usually say everyone's <laughs> different, people hold their attention differently. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I find a lot of people say, Oh, why do I have tension in this part? That wasn't the way I had it. Why do I have it there? No, I would just say it's uh, due to stress and, you know, because really it's a sidetrack. It's like, who cares why? It's about getting rid of it. You know, we're not there to sort of like have make, make a little story about the whole thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel that um, whatever comes to mind with massaging them is what the issue is about. Like, I think if, like, I'm thinking, oh my God, my ex husband comes to mind, well, then. That's what it is. So I'd say what, what, it's whatever you feel that it is at that time. Yeah. It's what the, yeah, the person. Yeah. And, and don't transfer your stuff into it. You know, because like for me, it could be, I could be having my own thoughts or my own stresses in my life or my own whatever's, you know. And so that's why I don't like to comment on, you know, because it could be just me thinking that that's what it is, you know. And they're accepting me as an authority and I don't want to misguide them. And especially, you know, put things into their head that shouldn't be there, you know. My role is not to do that because that can confuse a person. You know, my role is to sit there and encourage them. Where it's sore, breathe into it. And if you feel an emotion coming up inside of you, don't repress it, just let it out. Okay, if you need to cry, cry. If you need to scream, if you feel some, you know, let it out. Don't go, I'm not gonna let that out. I don't wanna, you know, I'm, I'm going together, you know. <laughs> I'm all right, Jack, you know. <laughs> It's not about that, okay? It's about just going with, you know, because a lot of, when you have these chi releases and these emotional releases, there's something that comes up like a tidal wave often from with deep within you. And that's how the person experiences it. And it, they experience it as a loss of control to a certain extent. Because, and I look at that, that's why I look at the head and the mind as like the control thing and the, and the belly is like your deep-seated emotional stuff. And what, why we have to often come in and do deep head massage before we can do belly massage on some people is to shut their mind up and just let things come out without trying to control it. The head tends to control it, the intellect and the mind, and especially in Western culture. 
probably see the difference between Westerners and Polynesians where you live. Well, actually, it's Melanesia, but it's also Polynesia. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know in Hawaiian, because Hawaiians are quite different, so they're not so mentally active as white people tend to be. And it's, it's, it's interesting looking at the differences. But what, what a lot of people tend to do is, is, is they're scared of that because why are they scared of those emotions? One, the emotions are scary, but two, the major thing is that they feel out of control. 